Hi there, Neil Smith here with 106 Consulting. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to manage baselines in Primavera P6. Now, managing baselines is actually a two-step process. We have to create the baseline, and then we have to assign it to one of four baseline types. That's a project baseline and three user baselines. So let's see how that works in the software. I'll show you right now. OK, so here's a sample schedule, and we're going to use this to demonstrate how to maintain baselines in Primavera P6. So I'm going to go to the project menu and I'm going to go to the maintain baselines menu option. In the resulting dialog, we can see here an add button. I'm going to click that. This will add a baseline to the project. Now, literally what it's going to do if I go with this first option is to save a copy of the project as a new baseline. Literally, it's going to make a complete copy of the entire project in the database and I can use that as my baseline. This second option is something I will explain a little later in this video. Save a copy of the current project. Let's click OK. And quite quickly, it makes a copy of the project, and there's our baseline. If I click on this, I can make some edits in the lower portion of the screen. We could change the name of this. I can type it in there if I want to change that from something other than B1. I'll leave it at B1 for this. Baseline type. These are some labels. If you've loaded the sample data, you'll have a similar list to the one you're seeing here customer sign off baseline let's go with that one and close that now I mentioned it's a two-step process in the introduction the second part of this process is to assign that baseline to this project now it's linked to it but it's not assigned to anything yet and it can be assigned to one of four options I'm gonna go up to the project menu choose assign baselines and take a look at this dialog here it's offering the option to assign this as the project baseline the primary user baseline secondary and tertiary user baselines. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to assign it to the project baseline. And because I don't have any other baselines created at the moment, I'm going to also assign it as the primary user baseline. And you'll see why I'll do that in a minute. So basically, I've told P6 to use this baseline as both the project baseline and the primary baseline. Now, the project baseline would be considered the master baseline for this project. And the primary baseline is a user baseline which can be used for more interim things such as periodic baselines taking a snapshot every quarter that kind of thing so these are more ad hoc this usually falls under some kind of change control and I'm going to say OK now how do we see the results of adding these baselines to the software the first thing I would do is right click here in the Gantt chart area and choose bars I'm going to switch on some baseline bars so I can see the baselines. And I'm scrolling down here to the primary baseline. And if I scroll down a little further, or click down a little further, we have the baseline milestone option here as well. I want to see baseline markers at where my milestones and my activities are. So I've chosen those two options. And if I say OK to that, you'll see that has appeared on the screen. There we have a baseline marker under the milestones showing up as a little yellow diamond. And we have a bar under each of the activities. Now, let me just demonstrate by changing the duration of this activity by some amount. It will put, it was a critical activity, so it's pushed the whole schedule out. So you can see if this one slips, everything's going to slip. That's where it was supposed to start. This is where it's going to start now. That is your variance. And without a baseline, we wouldn't have been able to see that. Okay. Let's put that back to its original date. Now, I need to show you another feature about baselines which is unique to Primavera P6. And we have the ability to export that baseline, or a copy of the baseline, depends which way you want to go, as a separate project. I'll show you. I'm going back to the project menu and maintain baselines. And here I'm going to make a copy of this baseline using the copy button. Let's click that. So that's two identical copies of that baseline. Now, what I'm going to show you now is a little unusual, but it's a very useful feature, particularly when you're dealing with a database-based tool like Primavera P6. You will be surprised how often you find this useful. I'm going to restore that, meaning I'm going to unlink it from this project and create a new project with that baseline. So I'm going to click the Restore button right there, and it wants to know if I'm sure I want to unlink that. Yes, I do. And it's disappeared from this list. It's no longer available as a baseline to this project. 
And where it's actually ended up, if we go to the projects view, is right there. It's now a project in its own right. I can literally open this project. So how I've often used this is to make a change to a baseline. I would unlink the project, open it as I've just done, make a change here, and then save that back and restore it as a baseline in the original project. Let's say I wanted to change the duration of mobilization to five days. And that's reduced the whole project there. Now I will go back to the projects menu here, open the original project again, go to the projects menu, go to maintain baselines, and what I'll do here is say add, convert another copy of a project to a baseline of the current project, so I'm going to select that and say OK. And now I have a list of the projects in the system. I can go find my Wellmont B2 project, the one I just adjusted. Click Select. Load that back in as B2. Now what I can do, let's close that dialog, go back to the Assign Baselines. And because I'm viewing the primary baseline, I'm going to change this one. I'm going to change it to B2 there say OK. And now we can see there's the baseline dates of the project that I just brought in. You can see there that's reduced to the five day duration. So I've modified the baseline. Now obviously that's not a realistic example but that gives you an idea of how much control this gives us over the baseline project and how we can make changes to the baseline. Ordinarily that would be done through some kind of formal change control process. Let's go back to our original baseline. So I'm now displaying the Wellmont B1, the original baseline, which had the original date, so we get back to our normal state here. And what I'm going to show you next is when this project starts to status, how we start to see variance in the project. So let's take a look at that now. Okay, so here's the project. We're imagining now that work has been going on for a few weeks, and we've had a few delays. The mobilization took a little longer than expected which has caused some general slippage throughout the project and we can see that indicated visually by the baseline bars on the Gantt chart. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you how to display a variance field that will quantify these delays. I'm going to open this table area out a little more and we'll open, we'll open some extra columns. I'm going to right click here, I'm going to open the columns dialog. I'm going to go to the durations area here. This is where some of the variances show up because they show up as a duration. I'll show you why in a moment. Variance BL1 project start date. That one there will tell us the number of days different, plus or minus, that the activity is from its baseline. So I'm going to double click that. Let's put that down the bottom here. And I'm going to take the variance project finish date as well. And I can apply that and say OK. And I can see those fields. You can see there this activity, this is telling me, because this is the project complete milestone, that's negative four, that's going to now happen four days later than planned. And I'll see similar numbers as we work our way down with the start dates and the finish dates. So that's the variance according to BL project, which is, as you recall, if we go to assign baselines, that's the project baseline. So this variance, because it says BL project, is referring to whatever project we determine to be the project baseline in this case Wellmont B1. So there you go folks that's how you manage baselines in Primavera P6. Hope you found that helpful. Don't forget to visit our website 106.com. Check us out. We'll see you online. Hi there. A quick message for those of you who enjoy learning by watching videos online. 106 Consulting offers a fully comprehensive Primavera P6 Professional online video training course. Written by industry experts, this course teaches you all the skills you need to get up and running as a P6 scheduler. Each of the lessons includes a video instruction section, practical exercises, and a quiz at the end to test your understanding. And this course is certified by the Project Management Institute, so you'll earn PDUs at the completion of the course. This online course delivers the same curriculum as our standard classroom courses, but at a fraction of the cost. And you can work at your own pace and at times that suit your schedule. So visit our website, 
106.com for full details about the curriculum, cost and how to get started. Our course is the quickest, easiest and most affordable way to start your career as a P6 scheduler. So visit 106.com today and get started right away. We'll see you online.